Hello guys, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Sarah and today is gonna be Makeup Monday. We're gonna do a full face tutorial on this makeup look right here. It's inspired by Mac Daddy, a look that he wore by the makeup artist. I'm gonna put his thing here. This is the photo of it. Oh my God, I saw it on TikTok and I was obsessed. Set. So I'm so excited to recreate this look for the event I'm going to today. Makeup tutorial is gonna be how I do my face for an event. I want my face to look good in photos and video and I want it to last all night long. And we're gonna recreate the overall eye look. So if you wanna see how I got this look step by step, then just keep on watching. And I'm gonna use today is Makeup by Mario's foundation. Beautiful foundation. And I'm gonna use my BK Beauty Brush. The key to getting the makeup to last long for an event is to not put so much. The cakier it is, the more likely it is to kind of like slide off. I'm gonna just go in with thin to medium layers of coverage. For concealer, I'm gonna use something tried and true, which is Too Faced Born This Way. So I'm gonna place the concealer right here in this little triangle because I do want my nose to be more pinched than normal is the vibe. I'm gonna put down my nose. I'm gonna put in my smile lines just to make them look a little more full. I'm gonna use my lip as the guide for the angle, the direction that I should be going. This gives my mouth like a little bit of a lift. I just like using a sponge because it gets rid of any excess concealer. I want to really pinpoint where I wanna put the concealer, but I don't want it to be too heavy. Let it sit right here for a little bit. Actually, let me get a fan because I'm so impatient. Use what's left, the triangle over here just to really give my eye a lift. But I want the most brightness in this pocket right here. When it comes to events, I typically like to do the same makeup. My eye makeup is a little bit out of the norm today, but I just wanna have a little bit of fun because I am going to a Kat Von D event today in LA. So I feel like I can be glam, like full glam, because I know the girlies are gonna show up with their makeup done. Okay, so I'm gonna go a little bit out of the norm with the eye look, but for the face, I'm trying to use tried and true products that I know I can trust. And my favorite cream contour is Milk. I'm gonna do a little lift into the eyebrow. Like a sponge tends to kind of like move the product around, which is okay for concealer in my case, but when it comes to cream contour, I want it to stay where I put it because I'm using it to sculpt and chisel my face. Shade, and I'm gonna use this one from Jouer. This one's really light, it's not my shade, but I'm gonna use it right here to just brighten. I'm going out of the norm for this event by doing my makeup differently than my signature makeup look, so we're not gonna be doing the bleach brows today. If you want a tutorial, just let me know. And today for powder, I'm gonna be using my Kosas Cloud Set Powder. And I'm gonna be using a puff. If you have not tried these, I cannot say it enough. You need to try them, they're life changing. I am going to add more powder because it is a special event and I want the makeup to last longer. So I'm gonna add loose powder after this, but I'm just setting the face right now with this. I really want this bright under eye. If I'm being honest, today's look will probably accentuate my fine lines and my under eyes, but it will look really good in photos. Just FYI, I'm gonna use this Maybelline Express Brow Pencil. I'm gonna try to get my brows as like defined as possible with this. You know what, I never do this. I'm actually going to put the concealer on my whole entire lid just so we can get a little bit more pigmented eyeshadow. I'm just gonna use the same face powder, the Kosas one. Use some bronzer, and one of my one of my current favorites is the Sigma bronzer, and I use the shade Medium. I'm gonna press this in on top of the cream contour. Rare Beauty blush in the shade Happy. We're gonna take the same bronzer for our face on this BK Beauty 201 brush. I'm gonna put this in my crease all the way up to my eyebrow. I'm gonna pull it out to the forehead as well, just to get that really clean blend. Brush right here. Ooh, this brush from Sigma is perfect. This is my one size visionary palette. I feel like this is perfect because it has all the browns. I'm gonna go in with this neutral brown. It's called Taupe of My Game. Put this through the crease. It is a cool tone. It is gonna chisel it even more and give it lots of definition. And whatever's left, I wanna bring it out to the outer corner. Now we have more definition, but I want even more definition than that. That. So I'm gonna take this blending brush right here, brownie, which is the darkest brown, one size 
palette and I'm gonna pull that in. I'm gonna start that one with the outer corner and then pull it in. Corner, whatever's left, I pull it in. So I'm kind of doing the opposite of the taupe color. I'm gonna go back in and then I'm gonna place it right here in the outer corner, blend it around, and then I'm gonna start pulling it out because we're gonna put black here. So I'm basically getting this ready for black. When you try to blend black eyeshadow, it could just go wrong really fast. So I always like to do the lighter colors and the blending first. I'm just gonna keep going in this little pocket. It's like my outer corner and the crease and a little V is what I'm doing. So you can see it's starting to build the definition. Keep going over until we feel like it's the darkness that we want. I have like a socket right here and that's where I'm, what I'm using as my guide. I'm wiggling my brush around in that socket and then I start to pull it out to blend it with the other colors. So I'm gonna go in with another BK Beauty brush, medium, and I'm gonna use the taupe color and go right in here. Cause I wanna be able to see it more. The other brush was just a little too small and skinny. There we go, that looks good. And I'm putting this in my mid crease, the taupe color, and then just blending it like a little bit above, but I'm pushing it in my crease. Sigma brush, this will be more perfect for black eyeshadow. Packing it right in the corner. And then whatever's left, I'm gonna start pulling it out. I have an even lighter touch when I start to pull it out because I don't wanna drag all the color out, I just wanna blend it out. And then I'm also gonna start pulling it into the crease just on the outer third. And then just going over to blend it in. We don't have to blend too much because we already blended with the other colors. You see how the other colors help with the blend? Oh my gosh, it looks so good! Notice the black for him right there is just very, very intense. So I'm gonna take an even smaller brush shadow and I'm just gonna really like place it right there so it's as tense as it can be. I'm just tapping it in, I'm not blending it because I don't want it to lose its color. So now I'm just packing it, I'm not blending it. We've already done all the blending. So important to do these looks with your eyes open because you want to use them as like your guide as to where the color is going. You want to see how dark it's going to look when you open your eye. Now I'm going to start cutting the crease and I'm going to use that concealer brush we used earlier. I'm also going to use the concealer we used earlier. This one is so good for cutting the crease. It's pretty matte and it dries fast. I'm not going to put too much. I want to make sure that I don't have too much on the brush. I'm going to go a little bit higher than my eyelid. I'm going to hug my crease instead of my eyelid. My eyelid is where my eye folds. My crease is where my socket is. And for me, it's there are two different places because I kind of have it like hooded eyelid a little bit. I'm not saying I have hooded eyes, but my eyelid is a little bit hooded. And as I get close to the black, I'm just going to like dab it on. I'm not going to go too far in there. Ooh. See how it makes it pop even more? And then I'm just gonna use my finger to kind of blend that part right there. I'm gonna mix some colors in the palette here to get the perfect kind of shade. I'm gonna mix this brown right here and then the bone color. So I don't want it to be exactly the bone color. I want it to be like a little bit more of a nude. Start with the outside of where we cut the crease and then when you go in for the inside, put a little bit more of the bone color instead of the brown color. It's almost like an ombre effect. I'm actually gonna go in my waterline first. I'm gonna use this Cali Ray because it's super creamy, but it also lasts really long. I'm gonna get rid of any concealer that's kind of hanging out there. I'm not gonna blend it in. I'm gonna actually try to remove it with the sponge. Use this Essence All About Matte. And I'm just gonna set under here. Super lightweight and it just mattifies. It doesn't add any color or anything. I'm gonna put a little bit of bake just to really intensify the powder and make sure my makeup lasts all day. This Sephora collection one, it's so good. I'm gonna put it in the places that I know my makeup comes off the first, which is like around my mouth because I am either eating or touching it. I'm gonna put a little bit under here just to brighten this area. I'm also gonna kind of do underneath the contour. Ooh. So I have this one from Maybelline and I'm gonna try this one out. I'm just gonna put this in the lower lash. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put on the whole thing. Whole lower lash. I really don't like dark underneath my eyes, but I do like something shimmery. I think it makes my eyes pop more. I'm gonna clean up this edge right here with any concealer that's left on the brush. This is such a good hack for getting like sharper eyeshadow. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Lash and Roll Mascara. Oh my gosh, this mascara is so good. What the heck, I really like this. For now, Sigma Sunset Kiss.
the cloud crush and she really is so cute but on my skin tone i don't think it looks good unless i do it like this show you how you can make it work if you have like a deeper skin tone with a little bit more warmth that's what it looks like pack it on right on top of the coral blush Ooh. i'm going to use this makeup forever spray i love this spray right now it's so good some crystals here i think I think I'm just gonna do two. Okay, the healthiest lashes that I have right now, which are these Ardell 427s. Oh my God, they're so pretty. You little shit. I'm gonna add my Beauty Marks back, but I'm gonna use a black liner, and this is a waterproof, so it's like perfect. Posas mascara. This is the final look. I'm so sorry, the camera overheated before I got to finish the lips. So let me just tell you the lip combo really quick. Everything will also be linked down below anyways, but just in case. Um, for the lips, I did Anastasia Deep Taupe and I also lined with Rare Beauty Gifted. I used Rare Beauty Lipstick in the shade Talented. And then the gloss is really what makes it. It's the Milani Diamond Shimmer Gloss in silver. I love wearing this on top of my cool toned lippies. I think it looks so, so good. So that's what I'm wearing and this is the completed look. I'm actually, I'm ready for the event. So we're about to leave. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. It was so fun to do. If you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial, let me know because I plan on doing makeup tutorials every Monday on my channel just to have some fun and go back to the good old days of sitting down and doing our makeup. It's not about reviews, it's not about favorites. It's just about doing makeup looks. I know I loved those back in the day, so I'm excited to bring it back on my channel. And if you have any requests for looks, let me know. I'd be happy to do them for you guys on Makeup Mondays. Okay, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.